Hi, I'm Kate from DailyTarotWorld.com and today I want to show you a really fun tarot exercise for getting deep insights into any area of your life by using just one tarot card. So I like to call this technique being your own life coach with tarot. So before we get started, I want you to grab your tarot deck. Um, so you can do this exercise along with me. Um, I go through it pretty fast, so you can always pause it um, at certain parts when you need a little bit more time. But I want you to start by grabbing um, your tarot deck. And you're going to start by just shuffling the cards in your hands. And I want you to approach your tarot cards um, with the idea that your tarot deck is a mediator between your higher self and... Um, well, between you and your higher self, or your, your inner guru, or your subconscious mind, or however you like to think of it. And with that in mind, I want you to choose a particular issue or problem that you're having in your life right now that you would like a little bit more guidance um, and insight into. So you're going to be thinking of that as you're shuffling your cards. And once you've focused or settled on an issue, I want you to phrase your question. So I like to phrase my question by saying, what do I need to know about blank, whatever the issue is. So as I'm um, walking you through this exercise, I'm going to be doing a reading on myself just to demonstrate um, how I would interpret a tarot card in this way. So my issue that I've chosen um, is that for the past year I've been looking for a house and I haven't found the right place to live and so it's been very frustrating so that's the issue that I'm going to be reading around. So when I phrase my question I'm going to say what do I need to know about finding a new home and why haven't I found one yet? Then you're going to choose one card and you're going to turn it over. So the card that I got is the moon and I'm using the Anna K tarot for this reading. So the card I got is the moon um, so once you draw your card, you're going to just have a look at it. And I want you to notice what suit it's from. So the suit, um, in this exercise, the suit that this tarot card is from is going to be an indication of what area of your life your issue is rooted in. Um, so for example, let's say um, you have, you're having health problems and that's your issue. That issue could be rooted in uh, a relationship, it could be rooted in your money issues as well, it could be connected to some other area of your life that um, you, you maybe wouldn't have considered. So if you get a card that um, is in the major arcana, and I did, I got the moon, so I've got a major arcana card, that means that your issue has to do with um, uh, a sort of the more spiritual it's more of a spiritual issue and it has to do with either a major life event or it's a major um, life lesson for you right now. Now if you got a card that's in um, the suit of wands, wands has to do with energy, passion, um, creativity, so creating things and you know setting goals, moving forward. Now if you got um, a card in the suit of cups. Cups has to do with emotions, feelings, relationships. Um, swords has to do with thinking, the mind, communication. And um, the last suit, pentacles, has to do with the material aspect of our lives. So the body, um, health, sex, and food, and also money and finances. Um, and if you got a court card, um, this could mean that your issue is rooted in some kind of um, relationship with a specific person, or it could indicate a particular personality trait that is either helping you or, or hindering you. So now um, that you have kind of a, a better idea as to what area of your life this issue is connected to, now we're going to take a closer look at the card and what that card means. So here's where we're going to look at what the traditional meaning of that card is. So whatever card you've chosen, um, I want you to consider what the, the you know textbook meaning of this card is. So feel free to look up the meaning in your book if you don't know the meaning off by heart. Um, 
and I'm going to um, tell you what the traditional meaning of my card is. So I've got the moon. Um, so traditionally the moon has to do with that which is hidden. So, um, you know, secrets, things not being clear or obvious, um, and it indicates dreams, the subconscious mind, um, and sort of that the need to bring things to light. So um, if this card can come up, if you maybe feel like there's hidden things that you're not aware of, or there's there's more to the story than meets the eye. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the traditional meaning of the card, and we're going to try to relate it to your specific issue and to the uh, <laughs> the specific uh, area of your life that this card is indicating. Um, so <laughs> that didn't sound very clear. Okay, so <laughs> we're going to take the traditional meaning and relate it to our specific issue. Now, um, we want to see how how is that traditional meaning relevant to our life right now. Um, so what we're doing here is we're really kind of getting into the nitty-gritty of our issue and we're looking at our issue from a different angle or a different perspective um, that we might not have you know looked at before so to give you an example I've got the moon here and I've already given you the traditional meaning of the moon um, but how does that traditional meaning relate to my life and my issue of not finding a house um, so when I did this, I did this exercise last night, and uh, it took me forever to figure this out. So that's another thing. As you're going through this exercise, um, you might not, you know, get the answers right away. It might take you a little while um, to come up with the insights. It's not an instantaneous kind of process. Um, but I really studied this card last night. I thought, okay, how does this relate to my dilemma? And... Um, as I looked at the moon and I realized that it, you know, it represents dreams and the subconscious. And then I had, I remembered that lately I've been having a ton of dreams where I'm in a house or a building and I go down the stairs into the basement and I'm looking at objects and I, I feel disturbed. I'm looking at things that are upsetting or disturbing down in this basement. And I've had, you know, various versions of this dream, um, so it's not always the exact same dream, but it has that same theme. And so this card kind of triggered that memory of those dreams. And I thought, well, that's interesting. And then considering the moon is about, um, you know, the subconscious and subconscious forces that could be affecting you, I thought, okay, maybe I've got some subconscious things going on that I'm not looking at. And that is acting as some kind of block some kind of energetic block which is um, getting in the way of me finding a new place to live. Um, so that gave me a new perspective on my issue that I didn't really have before. Okay, so now um, the next step is asking what advice does this card have for me? So we're um, asking a different question but we're staying with the same card. So you're not drawing another card, we're staying with the same card. All we're doing is we're switching the lens through which we look at that card. So when I look at the moon and I ask, what advice does this card have for me? Um, again, it took me a little while to, <laughs> to come up with this. And I realized that the moon was urging me to really explore my dreams more deeply and explore um, what the, the specific dream of, you know, going down into a basement, what that really meant. And um, what was it that I was afraid to look at or what, what was it that was making me feel uncomfortable to observe and face head on. Um, so that is that was the advice that I got from it was to to really analyze my dreams and work with my dreams. Um, so then the next step, and this is where the sort of life coachy aspect comes in. The next step is to set a goal related to the advice that you got from your card. So you're going to set a goal. You're going to write it down. You're going to give yourself a time frame to to meet that goal, and then you're going to take action. So what I did is I wrote down that I wanted to, you know, um, work with my dreams. So I was going to analyze my dreams. I was going to get some books out of the library on dream interpretation. And I was going to do some journaling around the dreams that I've been having. Um, 
and my timeline was one week. So I wanted to, I wanted to give myself seven days to to work with these dreams that I've been having, and um, and then I took action. The first thing that I did was I googled some of my some of the symbols that have been coming up for me in my dreams, and that kind of gave me a good head start. Next, I'm going to order some books from the library. Um, but uh, but this is important because I think um, a really good insightful reading can um, just really sort of evaporate, the effects can just evaporate if you don't um, you know, write it down and, and take action on the advice or the wisdom that you get from your reading. And then the last step, which is an optional step, and I would only do this step if you feel like you didn't really get enough insight or information from your reading. The last step is to, um, to ask your card what message it has for you. In other words, you're actually asking your higher self, what message are you trying to show me through this particular tarot card? And again, you would um, have a look at the card that you chose and you gaze at your card and you just kind of repeat that question in your head, like what message is here for me? Um, you know, what is this card trying to tell me? And you'll probably, your awareness will probably be drawn to a particular symbol on the card or even just feeling into the the overall feeling or the vibe that you get from the card can be really helpful in this case. So for me, when I looked at the moon, um, after I looked at it for quite a while, I noticed that the moon wasn't a full moon. It's a crescent moon. And so then the phrase, the moon is not yet full, kind of popped into my head. And for me, the message behind that was that um, it's not the right time for me to find a new home right now. It will be soon enough, but right now is just not the right time, which I felt was um, a huge relief to me because I thought, well, okay, I can sit back and relax and I can you know, analyze my dreams and <laughs> spend some time working through all that subconscious stuff and maybe that will shift things. Um, and so that was the sort of comforting message that um, came out in, in the end of the reading. Um, so I encourage you to, to give this exercise a try. If you would like to see the written instructions for this tarot exercise, you can head on over to my blog at dailytarotgirl.com. I'm going to put um, a pop-up in this video, and I'm also going to put the link to that blog post in the About section of this video as well, if you'd like to check that out. So um, please, in the comments below, feel free to let me know how you found this exercise, and feel free to share with me you know, what card you got and what insight you gained from it and I, I hope you, that you found this helpful and I want to thank you for watching and come check out my website dailytarotgirl.com